Horrible. <laughs> this is really not my kind of peanut butter soup. You trying to give me food poisoning. Hi everyone, my name is Abena. I'm from Ghana. Hi, my name is Kathy Joanna Yebo. I'm from Sierra Leone, West Africa. Hi, my name is Muna Dukre, and I'm from Burkina Faso in West Africa. And today and we're, we're trying, trying each other's, other's peanut, peanut butter, butter soup. soup. Like the title says, it's peanut butter soup. It's mixed with peppers, onions. Meat like beef or chicken, depending on what you want. Of course, the peanut butter paste. Then obviously I would stay away from chunky peanut butter because you are making a soup. We usually eat it with rice balls, which is a mutuo, or you can also eat it with fufu or just rice. The way we pronounce peanut butter soup in Sierra Leone is some people do say peanut butter soup, but the original term is granat soup. What I think makes Sierra Leone peanut butter soup the best is probably the consistency and the flavor with the different meats. And I have chicken and turkey meat in here. Maggie is definitely the go-to ingredient for this. I put about two cubes in here. My go-to peanut butter to make peanut butter soup is Skippy Creamy Peanut Butter. The number of times I've made it, it's always come out well with the brand names versus with the store brands. It's smooth, it's delicious, it has like the right amount of spice, it's not doing too much, it's like giving all the, the right amount of energy. It's one of, I would say, like the top four dishes that you would have when you're cooking for any African coming to your home. Oh, it smells really good. Is this my mom's recipe? <laughs> it's thin. I don't really like that. I like the flavor and it's a little bit too spicy. Ooh, it's hot, but it's good. My wig's sweating. <laughs> I feel like it's missing a lot of vegetables. I will add some like carrots at least. I don't know what this is. A little scary. The chicken is good, it's soft. The meat is good. The meat is like actually the same way I just make it. This kind of tastes like mine. I'm not gonna lie. This melts in my mouth. It's so warm. It's great. I never really seen yam in peanut butter soup. This is my first time. So it's different. This is some good yam. Usually you always get it with rice, so I love it. So I think this peanut butter soup is from Nigeria because it's a little bit spicy and I know Nigerians love spicy food. They're from Ghana, for sure. I won't be upset. If somebody gave me this bowl, I feel like you trying to battle or something with my peanut butter soup? <laughs> like, relax, because this is so good. I would give it six. Because so this is really not my kind of peanut butter soup, you know? There is so many things missing. I'm going to rate this an eight. Mine tastes just like this, but with less spice, which is going to make it a 10. Where's the water? <laughs> just take a little break. So we actually call it groundnut soup in Ghana culture, and the formal name is Nkante Nkwain. My mom taught me how to make it. This is her recipe, so if it's bad, I'm sorry, mama. Peanut butter soup is something that we eat in my house only on special occasions because it does take a long time to make. It probably takes from one hour to 30 minutes to two hours. So the specific thing that I use in my dish is the specific peanut butter paste. It's ground up paste that you usually get from the African market, and it's just like more of a thick peanut butter sauce. But it's really, really thick and you have to infuse it with water, let it cook for a little bit, and then you add all the other ingredients. I just know I'm gonna win. If an African try, a Ghanaian tried my peanut butter soup, they will say, hey, Abna, we are dear. This is way lighter than the first one, actually. Right off the bat, I like the color. It's very similar to mine, so I love that. Let's see how it is. She need to put more vegetable on it. <laughs> I mean, not a lot of vegetables, but at least something, you know? I would say this is spice well enough for, I think, a lot of people to eat. The first one was like, has more spicy, but this one has a little bit spicy. Seems a little more watery. Maybe it's even the peanut butter that was used, because sometimes the peanut butter makes a big difference into like the texture and the way it tastes. I think this is from Cameroon. I try a uh, cook from Cameroon and it's usually more soup like this. If I had to guess where they're from, maybe, maybe Ghana? I like this one better than the other one. The rice is really good. I've never had a rice ball in my soup before, so that's new. I think I like rice balls. The rice is kind of like sometimes swimming in the soup when you have it, and the rice ball kind of makes it easier to eat it. So shout out to whoever made this, because this was a genius idea. So I would feed it to my husband. I think my husband would actually like the rice ball, which is something I think I'm going to start trying. I would give this one an eight. Je pense qu'il n'y a pas assez de légumes uh, dans la sauce. La sauce est, est vide. Il n'y a pas beaucoup d'assaisonnement. Mais ça sent bon et c'est vraiment un peu bon. I'll give it an eight. It's missing, like, 
one or two factors, whether it's the peanut butter or they started off with a new broth or a new base. I feel like it's missing one thing, but I think it's definitely good. We call peanut butter soup mafe. What makes peanut butter soup different from the one from my country to other countries is the flavor, because the peanut butter sauce from my country is a little bit spicy. So other countries make peanut butter soup more light, but in Burkina Faso, we like when it's heavy with a lot of vegetables. When making the peanut butter soup, uh, what I first do is like put some oil and season the meat and let it fry. The first thing that I like to use is like onion, tomato, bell pepper then i like to use the tomato paste and then from there i add the peanut butter base and put a lot of water and then add cabbage eggplant carrots in my country we only eat peanut butter soup with rice one word to describe my peanut butter soup is très bon i never try peanut butter soup with carrots but it smells good but it smells like chicken stew it doesn't even smell like peanut butter at all I'm very confused. Cabbage and carrots are not something I typically see in a peanut butter soup. I'm not gonna lie, this looks a little questionable. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm, mm. I'm so sorry, whoever made this. Look can be deceiving, but it tastes good. I don't really taste peanut butter. Like, maybe a hint of peanut butter, but I feel like it's so much oil and other stuff, they didn't use enough water to make it a soup like consistency. The only thing that's drip is the oil. I like the rice on the side. I'm not gonna lie, this rice looks a little crunchy. Almost broke a tooth with the rice. There's eggplant in here too. Again, nothing I've heard of in a peanut butter soup. Why you put a carrot and cabbage in here though? Why you did that? Who told you to do that? I would say they're not from West Africa. I feel like West Africans have a base for peanut butter soup and I think this isn't it. Where are they from? Who knows at this point? <laughs> Can y'all be mean with me? Because this is just cabbage casserole. Like there's not enough peanut butter, but they didn't cook it well. So you can taste the peanut butter paste. Like it's not fully cooked. If we were judging for the best peanut butter soup, this would not be considered, in my opinion, considered a peanut butter soup. This is, I don't know, stew. Maybe I should try the meat. I feel so bad, I'm so sorry. I don't even know what it is. I don't, I don't, I'm so, I, <laughs> Oh no. For peanut butter soup, I would give it a five. I feel like it still has too much ingredients for me. I think it tastes good, but I would not consider this peanut butter soup. I'm gonna be nice. My whole heart, I'm giving this a two. My stomach hurt. All right, it, this is bad. <laughs> and yet, and yet. Yes, I'm so happy I won. Thank you, everyone. I knew I was gonna win. How do I feel now that I lost? Then I'm gonna try again. <laughs> like, it's all right, the next batch. I guess I lost today is not the end of the war. I will be back next time, and then I will win for sure. <laughs> Mama, I love you. P.O.P., hold it down. <laughs>